Toshiba is best known for its TV sets, its computers, and its semiconductors. But these days, one of the world's best known electronics giants is exploring a new product category, salads. For the past few weeks, this Toshiba facility has been growing 8,000 salads a day. The vegetables are given as much high-tech, tender-loving care as any circuit board ever was, and hygiene measures are every bit as strict as they would be on an electronics production line. We wash and sterilize our hands, and then the pressure room in the clean room and outside are differentiated. So if any dust tries to come in, the pressure will not allow it. We're in the suburbs of Tokyo, where Toshiba used to make floppy disks for computers until they became obsolete in 1994. Today, the factory is being reborn, thanks to salads. They're grown without pesticide under artificial lighting in a totally controlled environment that uses Toshiba technologies. Basically, all the electronic devices that we have here in this plant, the lighting, the air conditioning, the tablets, were made by Toshiba Technology. Noriaki Matsunaga used to supervise semiconductor production at Toshiba before heading up this indoor salad growing facility. The change isn't as radical as it might seem. I was focusing on optimizing the temperature, light and chemicals when I was in charge of the semiconductor processing and development, and now it's the same. In this country of electronics, Toshiba isn't the only company to turn to high-tech agriculture. Panasonic, Sharp and Fujitsu are also getting into the game. Some of them even export their know-how to foreign countries. It's one way of adapting to a much tougher market. The Japanese eight uh, large semiconductor makers, they used to have 80% of the world market share in electronics in the 1980s, but today that has evaporated to about 5% or so. They have two problems. They don't grow and they have no profits. Every Japanese uh, electronics maker now has to uh, find a way out of, uh, out of these problems. Eh? These salads of tomorrow consume a lot of energy to produce but they can be a perfect fit for consumers who don't mind paying two and a half euros for ready-to-eat greens. It's a healthy start, but Japanese electronics firms may find they need more than salad to recover their former fortunes.